Abdul Bani Ahmad, a boy with a bright smile and a big dream of bringing justice to the world, was tragically killed in a quadruple shooting last Friday. I'm Candace Burns. And I'm Bill Fitzgerald. Tonight, the community gathered to honor the life of the nine-year-old. Our Shannon Lilly joins us live now with how loved ones are remembering him and their call for peace. Shannon? Bill, loved ones tell me his smile was infectious. They say he was the Einstein of the family, an incredibly intelligent little boy with a giving heart, and that was stolen from them. Never lost a student. It's not a feeling that I ever thought that I would experience. Flowers from a former teacher joined the growing memorial. Abdul was the sweetest, sweetest, like most innovative. As the families of Short Pump Elementary light up the school parking lot six days after losing one of their own. Friday, two young lives were tragically taken. Raquan and our Abdul. We're here tonight to honor Abdul. Abdul Bani Ahmad was just nine years old, shot and killed at the corner of Creighton and Nine Mile Road. Oh God, make him an emissary in heaven on behalf of his parents. He was in fourth grade. He was an amazing young man that always dreamed big. To his cousin, Sasha Bani Ahmad, Abdul was more like a best friend and little brother. He was the man that shared my dream of fighting for freedom and justice. He always talked about his dream to become a judge and bring justice to all. But justice. <laughs> This world is cruel. You can kill, but you can't bring someone back to life. Can't be found here. Left us all heartbroken to know that we won't see his smile again. The love he gave to all of us will never be forgotten. <laughs> and the memories we made with him will never leave our hearts. Memories. He always loved being loved. And he would understand the person in front of him, too. Cousin Omar Mahasis recalls fondly. He is an angel. I can say that. Now tainted by the last one. Every time I remember him, I can't even sleep. Abdul's family now calling for action. I believe we should do something about the guns in our community. For the life they can never get back. Children having guns in their hands. A weapon that could murder someone that could ruin a family. No, just no. 14-year-old Raquan Logan was also killed in that Friday shooting. Four suspects have been arrested, including three 17-year-olds and an 18-year-old. A GoFundMe for Abdul's family has already raised more than $12,000. If you'd like to donate, we have a link posted on our website. That's WTBR.com.